What's up YouTube, Point Blank Airsoft here, and today we're going to be talking about airsoft batteries and which one is the best for you. So up at the top here we've got a Tenergy 900 milliamp 8.4 volt brick style battery. Now brick style batteries are common if you buy an M4 variant. They're usually going to be stock in your gun. Um, this one is actually not a very good one. I do not like this at all. It had some firing problems in mind, like the spring was actually a lot harder to compress than this little battery could put out. So I upgraded it to a 9.6 volt nunchuck style. So one of the advantages of a nunchuck or butterfly down here is that it fits easier into some of the spaces, like on an M4. If you have a front wire gearbox, your battery is going to be housed in the front of the gun, and sometimes that can be a bit that can be a bit of a challenge to get into your gun. So I had that problem with this one, and so it could hardly power the gun, and it was very, very, very difficult to get into the gun. So I just went ahead and bought this. It's about seventeen dollars. This one, uh, instead of a nine hundred milliamp, it's a sixteen hundred milliamp, and I'll explain what all that means in a sec. But that's basically it for M4s. You can get a nunchuck or a butterfly style, which is the exact same thing right here. Nunchuck or butterfly. Or you can get the 8.4 volt 900 milliamp brick style. Now the, these are available in 9.6 volt and these I think are available in 8.4 volt. But you're always going to want to go higher volt if you have a metal gearbox. But if you have a plastic, I recommend just sticking with the battery they gave you because chances are it's going to be like a 7.4 or something even smaller than this so you probably don't want to go too hard on your plastic gearbox all right so AKs use a stick battery I don't know if that's the official name for it I don't think there is an official name but this one as you can see here is an 8.4 volt um all AKs use stick batteries because they're housed in the top of the gun, kind of right beneath your sights. And um, stick batteries, you know, the same power output, same volt system that the M4 batteries are, but they're just, they need to be different shapes so the AK can house them. So these are available in 8.4 and 9.6, just as well as the nunchuck style and the brick style. So let's move on to explaining how the bolt system works. So Tenergy, always a good brand, but anyway. An 8.4 volt battery, voltage generally, I mean just a, this is just a rough interpretation of what it means. Voltage, the higher the voltage usually means the higher fire rate. This is also, um, this also applies to LiPo batteries. LiPo batteries are a step up from all of these batteries, but I don't have one of those currently because, you know, it'll shred your gearbox if your gun is not very high quality. So I recommend doing some internal upgrades before you get a LiPo battery. But this is just the basic batteries. If you're watching this video, you probably don't know too much about batteries. And if you have a LiPo, you probably know a lot about batteries. So, the 8.4 volt means, yeah, like I said, um, the higher voltage usually translate to a higher fire rate out of your gun, which is another good upgrade that I got with this one. And the MAH, which is a milliamp hours, um, that usually translates to, like, again, that usually means how long your battery will last before it dies. So, I mean, the higher these two numbers get, the more expensive your battery I found a 9.6 volt brick style that was 5,000 milliamp and it was you know 80 or 70 dollars or something like that I mean it'll last you <laughs> two days or just a really long time but um, it's still got the 8.4 volt you can't I don't think at least for a regular certified airsoft battery you can get higher than an 11.1 .1 volt and that's only in lipo batteries so those um you can get a 8.4 volt 
or you can get a 9.6. Every, everything is available. Every style of battery you can still upgrade them um, to a 9.6 style, 9.6 volt AK style battery. There's just um, a lot of messing around you can do with it in whatever style you like. But now let's talk about the type of battery. So not the style, but the type. This one, as you can see here, is an NIMH. That stands for Nickel Metal Hydride. That is the most updated, best airsoft battery, other than LiPo. It's probably also the most common that you're going to find. Now, the advantage of an NIMH battery is that you don't have to discharge it. If you only use, say, half of your battery during a game, you can still come home and charge it up for the next one without damaging without damaging the battery. They have no memory, so-called, so that allows you to not have to discharge your battery. Now, on the other hand, I don't currently have one, but there are NICD batteries, which is nickel metal cadmium, or nickel cadmium, or something like that, and that is not as good of an airsoft battery because you have to discharge, you have to physically buy a discharger and discharge it so it doesn't ruin your battery. And if you don't discharge it, it is going to ruin your battery. So some of the cheaper airsoft guns come with those. Um, you might want to buy an IMH for it. These are definitely the most common you're going to find out there. So that's basically it for the type. And then of course there's LiPo, which is lithium polymer. And those are just crazy. I mean, they, they shoot your fire rate through the roof, but like I said earlier, you're going to want to have a really, really nice metal gearbox for one of those so you don't just completely shred it, especially if a plastic gearbox. Don't even think about getting a LiPo. If you have a metal gearbox, I would still recommend upgrading it internally before you even think about getting a LiPo. That's going to conclude our Airsoft battery review for today, folks. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us what you want to see. Point Blank Airsoft here, and we'll see you guys in the next video.